Let the Fortnite Locker Tour begin. Yo, again, yo, everyone. Star the protagonist is here, bringing you another Fortnite video. So, if you've seen my Battle Pass video, you may remember me saying that when I reach over 100 skins, I would do a Locker Tour. Right now, I'm at over 60 skins, and maybe when I reach 100 skins, I'll do a Fortnite Locker Tour. Now, fast forward six months later, and here we are with the first official locker tour of 2024. This is my first time ever doing a locker tour. Uh, I've been meaning to do this for quite a while, but now that we're at a point where we got quite a lot of cosmetics, not much, but like at least enough to do an actual locker tour. I think I might as well get this out of the way and you know, just to do something for you all since you all seem to in now in starting to enjoy my Fortnite content. Especially considering that we're already bypassed over 850 subs. So I'm hoping we can actually reach over to 900 subscribers before the end of this month. But regardless, uh, I want to thank you all for this love and support on this channel. You guys have been really awesome, really amazing. And I will continue to bring you all uh, Fortnite content as much as I can. But uh, nonetheless, let's get started with this locker tour. Right off the bat, we are starting off with the skins, and in total, I have over 140 skins in the locker. So we're close to 50, honestly. So I can't wait to get to maybe 200, but nonetheless. Uh, first up, we got some DC skins. We got Armored Batman Zero and Rebirth Holy Quinn. These were from the Zero Point books, which I was able to get a code for all the cosmetics. But nonetheless, we also got some gaming legends. They were from Chapter 5 Season 1, as well as Season 3. Now we got some icon skins. We got Kabi Lame, we got some Metallica, uh, Billy Eilish, Lady Gaga, Hilary Kim, oh yeah, Kirk, uh, Lars, you, you know, more to Metallica. Loser Fruit, yeah, I, I, I'm actually watching more of her content and she's one of the like best content creators so far. And we got some Eminem, Marshmallow, we got uh, Mr. Breast himself. Uh, more Eminem, we got Ariana Grande, which I am missing the OG Ariana. I'm hoping that she actually comes back. Maybe when they probably update her email, they'll probably bring back the rest of the bundle. And I only have to pay 1600 for that since I already got her glider. But nonetheless, uh, we got another Billy Eilish, we got Rat Boy, Nick A30. Yes, I've also watched more of his content. And I think out of all the uh, content creators, he's uh, like, probably top three. Uh, in terms of you know showing off Fortnite gameplay, and we also got the weekend, so that's pretty much all the icon skins. I got about 20 icon skins so far, and I got five Marvel skins: Black Widow, we got Dark Phoenix, Rogue, uh, Scarlet Witch, and Magneto. So, yeah, expect to see more once Chapter Five Season Four starts. But nonetheless, we got that's pretty much all the uh, series skins. Uh, since they took out cosmetic rarity, they pretty much added all the other skins in alphabetical order, which sucks. But nonetheless, we got Aang, we got some Antonio from Chapter 4 Season 4, Aphrodite, uh, we got Invincible, Adam Eve, uh, yeah, Austria, Ares, April O'Neil, yeah, we got some TMNT along with some Dragon Ball. Uh, I got two Bright skins, Bright Agent and Bright Raider. So make that as well. This is the only uh, Coachella skin I got, which is Cosma, thanks to Phoenix. Uh, Combat Tech Duels, Clara, we got some, uh, we got more Dragon Ball, uh, Countless Deraku, more Team NT, we got My Academia as well. Yeah, I got a variety, I got a whole variety of skins, mostly just collab skins because, you know, I mostly enjoy the collaboration skins a lot, but Nothing's wrong with the Fortnite originals. I do think they're awesome. Especially this skin, Cat from the Fortnite crew. Uh, I think, I know her, young, her older brother, Kit, was from a battle pass. I can't remember which season, though. We got Katsuki Bakugo. We got Joy. Uh, yeah, we got Jackie from Rocket Racing, the only Rocket Racing skin you can ever get. Kimiko Five Tails for all the furries. But. Yeah, for me, she's top five favorite Fortnite skins. That's not a collab skin. We got Aura. And then we get to best skin of all time, Leela. She's really adorable. Very, very cute. I also like her edit styles as well. Especially her holiday one as well. But her original is the best one for me. 
and uh, I got some. I, I do have a sprite in work, so I'm hoping Juju, my friend Juju, can actually digitize it soon. Uh, but nonetheless, more TMNT. We got a little split, and yeah, got some skins from Chapter Four Season Three, which was a dog water season. But we got May best skin for Chapter Four Season Four. And more in my academia, you yeah, heard thick ass Miss Bunny Penny. Jesus Christ, those are some bootylicious cheeks. Yo, yeah, Chapter 5 Season 1 skins got to do some ties in this bitch. Yeah, well, freaking Tony the Tiger himself. <laughs> Tell me he does not look like Tony from uh, Frosted Flakes. Then we got Transformers. This is the only skin from Transformers I got. Optimus Prime. And I know Transformers collaborated with Overwatch 2 not like just a few days ago uh yeah omni man got ochako we got the queen of the underworld herself family guy peter griffin i didn't get the uh i didn't get the giant chicken skin because i don't really see myself running that that's a pay to lose and then we got Twitter's favorite skin raven team leader like good lord <laughs> but yeah uh we got some other skins uh we got more dragon ball sun gohan son goku yeah i the thing with me is that i i don't really like to spend a lot on these skins uh mainly i just mainly like to run the female skins because they look more they are more interesting some can be like cute some can be pretty sexy to run but yeah there are some collab skins i do enjoy so don't get me wrong on that but i just most likely prefer rocking the female skins because they're just more interesting but hey, that's just me though. Let me know what skins you run. And now we get two back blings and we have over 160 back blings. Not a bad number considering the amount of back blings that we usually get. Mainly from challenges and quests. We got DC, Game of Legends, Mom Spaghetti, <laughs> Ruffins and uh, 8 Mile from uh, you know the, the movie that Eminem uh, acted in. We got Iris. Good girl wings. They don't really look like good girl to me. They're more like bad girl vibes. The electric sign from Lady Yaga. We got loser fruits back bling. Billy Otis is second back bling. Never back down. Never what? Raven stare. We got the rift ribbon. Uh, I don't really run this on Ariana's skin. The reason why is because I think it's way better for her to let her hair sway around. It just looks a lot cleaner that way. Shady boombox. Silent Silencer from uh, Kaby Lame's set. And finally, we have Chloe Kim's uh, back bling. We got six Marvel back blings, two of them being from Magneto, the rest being from the girls. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just prefer, like I said, I just prefer buying more of the uh, female Fortnite skins. They just, they're way better, honestly. But when it comes to collab skins, I it, it doesn't matter to me. I will run any of the collab skins that I own. Got Autobot emblem. We got like uh, some invincible back blings. Yeah, some of these back blings are really cool. You can get some of them from challenges or simply just buy them in the item shop or the battle pass. But yeah, I don't really run most of these. Uh, I don't really run most of these back blings because some of them I, I, I just really find more interesting and like I'm just trying to like create really good combos for the skins I have. But nonetheless, these are back blings I don't mind owning because they look really cool. Like the coat, sheer cloak. Then we got a diesel back pack. Uh, uh <laughs> okay. Donnie's bow sheath, dragon radar. Really cool back bling to use. Electric better. We use pie. We got four elements banner. But yeah, and I even got some of the, uh, I think I got like two back blings from playing rank. For me, I don't really like playing rank that much because like I'm not really a sweaty player. I just prefer playing casually. So and yeah, if I want to play maybe a little bit of competitive, but because like, you know, I just don't like to lose a lot, but I'm going to take losses regardless. But I think I have over 40 victory royale so far, but yeah, there's a lot of back blings I have. We have the hot buns back bling. Uh, this is actually for Leela. Best skin overall. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> but yeah, May Jr. This is a, a very adorable back bling. And then we got some Futurama. 
Yeah, some of these, again, some of these back blings are really cool. Really cool to own. And I don't know. In the K back blings, I don't really see them like myself running them unless I'm using a skin that can actually like blend in with the, uh, you know, that can actually blend in together. Radicat, Cat, Red Riot Shield. Yeah, I know this locker is going to, I know this locker is going to continue to grow because, uh, you know, event passes, you know, battle passes, item shops. Uh, even though the item shops themselves, sometimes they can be pretty bad, but, uh, you know, as they go, as the saying goes, good things come to those who wait. And I always take my time waiting for the exact skins that I want to get for them to come back. So, but nonetheless, we got this back bling, which is exclusive to the Jujutsu Kaisen. Winky Cats, really cute back bling as well. Wraith Wings, and that's about it. And we have Gohan's Cape, which I don't, I'm not running the Gohan. I, I'm not equipped, I don't have the Gohan skin equipped, but hey. Next up, we have pickaxes, and in total, I have over 105 pickaxes. So, we got Battle Ring Axe, the Catwoman's Grappling Claw, and I'm hoping the D I'm really hoping the DC skins come back because I know I'm gonna have discounts on some of these bundles due to the uh, DC cosmetics that I own already without even purchasing them. Look at this! Like that, we got the marshmallow melts, the egg crown. Uh, I only have two Marvel uh, pickaxes. That's okay. Staff. Yeah, they have some really cool back blings as well. This is Blizzard's Bite, which is a mid pickaxe. And yeah, some of these pickaxes can be pretty mid, but I try my best to like bring out the best combos I can with pickaxes. But this pickaxe right here, Cold Hot Hitters, it doesn't matter which skin I'll use. I'll probably equip it on like whatever skin. The Cosmic Snow Carver, Donnie's Bow Staff. Then the Cybertron Axe. Yeah. There's some uh pickaxes that I again I don't really like I don't really like much, but I only get them just in the hopes of actually just you know can use them from something. I'm hoping I can probably use them for something. Or maybe I just like get them from starter packs. Because you know the back wings can be pretty mid, but if everything else is good, I'm not really gonna lose much sleep over it. The Kitsune claws, really all awesome. And then we got the Dragon Ball pickaxe. Love one, Lucha Slashers, Mace Berry Mauler, <laughs> the Midnight Scythe, which you can pretty much get, which is from Chapter Four Season Two, but you can you were able to get if you bought a V Bucks card. Yeah, they started doing those. Basically, if you buy a V Bucks skin, you can well not a skin, but if you buy certain V Bucks, certain amount of V Bucks, then you'll get a free cosmetic, which I find really cool, and I'm glad they're doing that. Yeah, we have Snow Glow Smasher. This was the like the pickaxe that I used for Summer Seeker Easy before getting her uh, pickaxes. And yeah, this pickaxe right here. Like, I won't be honest with you. I did not purchase the Chapter 4 Season 2 Battle Pass. I did get some of the cosmetics from it, but I did not purchase it, which was a boneheaded decision of my end. I don't know why. I, I could have gotten Imani, and I also couldn't got a could have gotten Aaron Yeager because I don't know why they even bother putting him in a battle pass when he pretty much should have just been in the item shop. I don't know. That was a bonehead decision from Epic, but I'm not really going to complain much. And now we have gliders. And in total, I have over 70 gliders. Starting off the bat, we have the Batman Zero Wing along with Deathstroke's Destroyer. Uh, we got we got Snakes' as glider as well as P60 Power Armor's glider. Yeah. Iris Daydream, and the cool thing about the glider along with the uh, pickaxe as well as the back bling is that when you equip this with the space for Ariana skin, uh, it can actually transform whenever she transforms. You got the King Wings, Mellow Rider, Raven Express, it has an edit, also has an edit style that's referenced in Kamikaze, the album. Then we have the Sweetness Sail Shards. One of the best, one of the best gliders I own, and it's easily the best icon glider I have. 
and we got the magnetic steps this is the only stepping glider i have i don't have the other two because i will say it again i only started fortnite in chapter four so don't get on me if i don't have any like battle passes from chapters one through three but hey i'm happy with the stuff i got i'm happy with the stuff i got from battle passes the item shop as well as some stuff that i gifted like this glider that i bought I love this music so much. Uh. <laughs> yeah, some of these gliders are really cool. Uh, you can pretty much get them from some of them from challenges, which are, which means you can get those for free. Green glacier glider, a normal glider. We got the junker umbrella. Yeah, some of these umbrellas, the Victor Royale umbrellas, you can only get by getting a uh, Victor Royale. Like this one, I think this one fits Kimiko 5 Tails for me. Uh, New A, Jujutsu Kaisen Glider, which you can only get from the event pass. So, some of the stuff in these event passes are very exclusive. Like the Neo Dropper from the Battle Pass. I didn't buy the Battle Pass, but I was able to get that glider. Uh, at least I got something from the Imani set. Oopsie Jonesy. Key Riggables. <laughs> and then we got... I do like whenever you... Whenever you equip this glider, <laughs> he laughs whenever you equip it. Like, it's really cool, but it's also... I feel like it's a pay-to-lose glider. Assuming if that's a thing. Shadow Bites Glider, which they pretty much fucked up. I don't know why they didn't even make it a, like a surfing glider instead of... Like... I'm not going to get that. Renovant and Glider, which you can get from Fight Nightmares 2023. Radicat Roamer, Raiders of Wa Wayfar, Queen and Gold. We got Shenron, brings all seven Dragon Balls together into, you can summon the Shenron. I really do hope we get more Dragon Ball cosmetics, because, you know, even though we have like nine skins and so many gliders and pickaxes and stuff, I would like to see more Dragon Ball cosmetics. It was supposed to get like a uh, Trunks was supposed to be in drag in you know, like the uh, in the game, but like hopefully they actually do add him soon. Cause I would like to have more Dragon Ball cosmetics in my locker, thank you. But yeah, that's about it for all the gliders. And now we have contrails, which I will say I don't have much. I only have over 30 contrails, and you can mostly get these contrails from battle passes because they barely even sell any contrails in the item shop so like you can only get contrails from battle passes or event passes or even from challenges i barely see them sell any contrails the only contrails i see them sell that i see selling in the item shop right now is metallica's contrail and that one actually plays music unfortunately i don't have that but I will be getting it soon before it actually rotates out of the shop. But yeah, some of these controls are really cool to use. Especially the Stellar Barrage, Stormy Descent. Not all of them are pretty cool. Like this freaking Tendra Dropper. This one's like mid. And we got the Countdown, Wicked Wings. And then we got the Wacky Wavers. I am passing the savers on to you. And now we get into emotes and in total i have 99 emotes so i wonder which one would be my 100th one but nonetheless we got the exclamation mark emo from uh solid snake cosword cleanup which is nice then we got a bunch of icon emotes i forgot how many i have i think i have like over 20 i know i do carefree classy then we have Cupid's Arrow from the K-pop song Cupid by 50-50. A really good song. It's a shame of what happened to the K-pop group, but nonetheless, still a good song. Juby Slide. All the Boomrocks fans. We got Jiggle Jiggle. And we got some BTS in this bitch. I, I really hope they actually... I really hope they do actually see the... uh Not see, but like... I really hope to see BTS in a Fortnite festival. I would like to run a Jin skin. I would like to see... I would like to play as Jen in uh in, in Fortnite. <laughs> we got the get gritty, the gritty emote. Then we got Frolic, which is not really copyrighted, but 
here's my complaint. Why didn't they put Hatsune Miku in the game? Like, it's been years, already like almost seven years, and they haven't put Hatsune Miku in the game. What the hell? You got the Marsh Walk. We got, you got the Rick Roll. Oh, thank you. Imagine getting Rick Rolled in 2024. And we got Perfect Score by Kylie Monogu. I really like this song. I don't care what anybody says. It's a really fun song. Point and shoot. We got rain check. We got the dip. We got the Sonic Surfer, which was like from a song from Sabrina Carpenter. The Smeeze emote, which I've seen when I heard of Soldier Boy's song, Rick and Morty. We got Say Self by Doja Cat. We got the Roly emote. I really want to get more AO and Tail emotes. Then we got the real Slim Shady. And if you equip this on Slim Shady, his mouth would be moving. So that's something. Got the without you emote. I swear, if I equipped the Nikkei 30 skin, you will probably see the text on that crown. Is this the symbol emote? This is the only Marvel emote I have, and now it's from the Battle Pass. Conch Call. Nothing special. Little T60 shovel. <laughs> Little T6 shuttle. I don't know why I say it's 60. Got the Air Spear. Heat Saber. Oh yeah, there's a lot of emotes I have. Almost nine, almost a hundred emotes. I don't know why I did. I don't know why I did that. But boosting key. I'm charging my attack. Light moves. Hard drop. Charging up. Then we got cultural festival dance from my academia. Crowning achievement, and I have eight. Brown victory out. What a pitiful number I have. But like I said, I'm not really that great at the game. Oh my <laughs> I'm glad I had this emote. Like I am so glad I started in chapter four. That was such a magical time for me to start. Like I, I really wish I would have started in chapter three, but chapter four, I, I'm still I'm still glad I started it. <laughs> so iconic and yeah this is that was the, like the second version the first this is the original version and another dance with some scrubs when they was playing uh poison by bell Biff the bow diamond throne dice roll do the split hey like they really cooked with uh fortnite og and then we got dripping flavor a very cute emote, but the song itself is so goddamn sus. Then we got dramatic flares, those dab, flashback breakdown, which pretty much eight dances combined into one for this emote. Oil flex. Then we got some Fortnite festival emotes, which some you can get in the item shop or the festival pass. Get out of your mind. And we got Get Swifty, which I don't know why the music is copyrighted. What the fuck? Half cold, half hot. Yeah, that's some very interesting emotes. I like the fucking hip check. Again, this is just a shake your booty emote. I don't know which, I don't know which is more down bad. The hip check or the party hips. Which, I'm so glad I don't own. But if I see that in the shop, I might buy it. But yeah, we got TMNT emotes. I hope they actually bring these back in it. I hope they actually bring these back and put them in the item shop. Yeah, old school. I like this emote. And I like the song as well. self reflection But yeah, there's a lot of great emotes I have. Some of them from Fortnite Festival, which I'm gonna be honest, I haven't really bought any like emote from Fortnite Festival. The only one that I bought in the shop was the, uh, it was, <laughs> it was the, uh, it was a hip check. And Surfing Bird, which the song is pretty much copyrighted for obvious reasons. Toga's Glee. God, you can't even see her smile because she's wearing that scarf. We got True Heart, one of my favorite emotes. It's so cute. 
And this was pretty much like from Blackpink's song, As If It's Your Last. It's not the exact emote, and we're just not playing the music, but it's pretty much referencing it, the dance. And we got Lace Wasteland Rock. I don't know why it's not playing. Hold on. There we go. And yeah, the music is also copyrighted because he's playing Metallica. Like, they pretty much hinted at this before Metallica actually came for Fortnite Festival. But yeah, that's pretty much all my emotes. Only 99. I wonder which one would be my 100th one. And finally, to wrap this whole blocker tour up, we got to look at the raps. I did not know that I just made a joke there. Fuck. So we got the Pit Bling. Snake skin. Two of them from Game of Legends. Game of Legends really do coming out with heat. I do hope we like see the Street Fighter cosmetics come back. Like it's been almost two years since they came out. But yeah, hopefully they do bring those uh they do bring the Street Fighter cosmetics back. And I also hope they bring back the Naruto ones as well. Cause like they were also they were also missing for almost two years. They need to bring those back, Epic, please. The entire community is dying to get those cosmetics as well as the Street Fighter set. I really want Chun-Li in my locker as well as Kami and Sokka. I could care less about the others, but hey, if I can get Ryu, that would be fine. But hey, I'm just glad with the stuff I got. Like the Jujutsu Kaisen emblem. I think this one's you can like get and you can get from Yuji Dodori's bundle, which is now in the, which can now be in the shop. But if you missed that, if you missed out on the event pass, chances are you probably missed out on his second uh, rap, as well as his emo though as well. Got the ooze rap, the ooze. Check out my uh, Team NT video here if you haven't already. <laughs> we got Rainbow Bubblegum. I haven't even ran. It's crazy how I bought this rap even though I haven't ran it yet. I'm probably gonna have to use it sometime. Rabbit ears. I think I can probably use this rap for Miss Bunny Penny. Then we have the pool cubes. Like some of these raps, I really do like that they are uh, that they're um I really do like that they're very reactive or animated. You know, even if they're not animated or reactive, I can still run them. Cause you know they're really cool. I don't know why Valeria and Poseidon each have three raps. That's crazy. But hey. Doesn't matter, as long as the raps are really cool, I'm not really losing any much sleep. Like this rap, Uwu, one of the best raps I enjoy owning. And as far as raps, that's pretty much all the raps I have. Winky Paw, I like this rap a lot. And the Winterfest Flurry, so that's pretty much all my raps. So that is gonna be it for the Fortnite Lago Tour. I wanna thank you guys so much for the support you've been, you know, giving for the channel. Like over 850 subs i can't believe it we're getting closer to 1k which i'm hoping we can get to that before the end of the year but i believe in myself i know we can i know we can grow to make sure the star nation can grow even bigger but as well as the locker because i know it's going to get even bigger as time comes i'll probably do another one uh in the beginning of 2025 but only time will tell and if we do reach 100 well not 100 but if we reach 1k subs I don't know, I'll probably have a video planned. Maybe even like do a face reveal and, or maybe just something, maybe some, something special for you all. But hey, I really appreciate all the love and support you've been giving to the channel. I really love you guys and I'm going to keep continuing bringing you guys more content. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, uh, and yeah, you can also check out my uh, Twitter. Until then, this is Startup Protagonist signing out as always. Goki Genyo and have a startastic day everyone. If you enjoyed today's video, then be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those notifications on to join the Star Nation. Also, be sure to follow my Twitter and while you're at it, check out my previous video. Now.